Hi there, it's Carl Allen. Welcome to the Module 2 Implementation Lesson on Deal Strategy and Specification. So we looked at our target range up to $10 million in revenue size and the three ways to profit from an LBO acquisition. Surplus cash at closing, ongoing cash flow from the combined entity and the exit, the big payday when you sell your empire in the future. And I walked you through the perfect deal triad and we focused on the top point, point number one. What does a perfect deal look like to you? Your choice of sector, the strategic rationale for doing deals and how you can leverage cross-selling and the financial deal synergies to increase revenues, increase cash flow, increase valuation and ultimately your increasing net worth as the owner or partner in the business. And we covered the three types of acquisitions. A competitor, a supply chain partner, or entering a complementary market via acquisition. We also looked at roll-ups, portfolio builds, and mergers as an alternative to a straight bolt-on acquisition deal. And I also discussed the three success factors in deals. Your strategic rationale, the systems considerations, and the cultural considerations that you need to be mindful of when acquiring another business. For cross-selling, I'm not expecting you to have done the detailed work now. You can't. You haven't yet originated any deals and gotten the data to work with, but I've walked you through the process as this will set your filters and give you pointers for your deal specification. What customers, what products, and what services do you want to target via acquisitions? Remember, those green areas of your cross-sell matrix versus the yellow segments that you can do now via organic growth. We also looked at deal synergies and how they work. Combining businesses gives you savings in your cost of sales and your overhead categories. R&D, employment costs, establishment, which is your site, your office, sales, marketing, admin, not to mention the owner's costs that will disappear when you buy his or her business. And I also shared the target business acquisition model with you to get your juices flowing. You will implement this in module five, but it's important to be mindful of it now when constructing your deal specification. And finally, I gave you the one sheet deal spec, walked you through it with a detailed example of John from Georgia and his engineering business. And we laid down his strategic rationale for deals and also we mapped out his wealth creation plan, the $5 million tax paid amount in five years and how that boiled down to around three small deals. Now it's time for you to repeat this exercise for your own business. This is your only assignment for this week, but it's a big assignment. It's a really, really important assignment. So definitely do this work. It should take you about one to two hours, but it's critical to do it ahead of starting module three, deal origination next week. Why is it critical? Because you need to know what you're looking for at all times. Your deal specification one sheet will act as your GPS and your filter for measuring every business that you come across to buy. This will make perfect sense in the upcoming module three, deal origination, and module four, deal analysis. So please do this implementation work now. It's absolutely critical. Do not move on until you have done this work. Take the action, do the work. It's one to two hours max. It's critical. And don't forget this week's first mentoring call where we'll discuss your mindset hurdles and your implementation exercises from module number one. Next up, it's going to be on to module number three, deal origination. Do the work. We'll see you on the call and I look forward to seeing you on the next training, deal origination. Until then, my friends, bye for now.